Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to show you 7 ways to fix iPhone front camera not working problem. If your iPhone's front camera is not working then you don't have to worry. In this video I am going to show you 7 different ways to fix it without losing your iPhone data. So make sure to watch the video till the very end and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix your iPhone's problem. And also if you find this video helpful by any means then please give it a thumbs up and also share the video with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost you anything. So with that said, let's get started. As you can see here, I have an iPhone X front camera off which is not working. The back camera works perfectly fine though as you can see, but when I switch to front camera, the screen goes black and I cannot take photos or videos, nothing works. However, the face ID and flash works perfectly fine. As you can see, and also the flashlight of this phone works. Alright, our first method is force restarting your iPhone. In order to force restart your iPhone, first of all, press volume up, volume down, and then keep press and holding the power button. Just keep press and holding it. Your device will turn off. Whenever you see this Apple logo, just release power button. Just try this method by yourselves. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then you don't have to worry. Just skip to the next method. So let's see. Back camera works fine. The front camera is still not working. Our second method is updating your iPhone to latest version of iOS. Maybe your iPhone software is outdated and it's causing the problem. In order to update your software, just tap on settings, tap on general, select software update and see if there is an update available. If there is an update available, just install it. As you can see, my iPhone is currently up to date. So try this method, if it works. Great, if it doesn't then keep watching the video and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix the problem. Our third method is resetting all the settings of your iPhone. To do that, open up your iPhone settings, tap on general, next scroll all the way down, tap on transfer or reset iPhone, tap on reset. And make sure you select reset all settings and don't worry it will not erase your iPhone data. What it will do is it will reset all the settings of your iPhone. So now type your passcode, tap on reset all settings and wait for your iPhone to restart and hopefully it will work for you. Once your iPhone is restarted just open it up and see if the camera problem is solved or not. I think my cam my camera problem is still there. Our fourth method is turning off location of the camera. To do that, head over to your iPhone settings, scroll down, select privacy, next select location services, tap on camera and make sure it's set to never. And now let's see my camera problem is solved or not? Nope, my camera problem is still there. Our fifth method is using screen time to fix the problem. If you use screen time on your iPhone, make sure camera app is not restricted on screen time. To check that, just tap on settings, tap on screen time, Select allowed apps. If you see your camera here, just remove it. After that, see if the problem is fixed or not. Alright, our next method is using a third party software to fix your iPhone's problem. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer with active internet connection. After that, you need a software by the name of Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS. You can get the software from the link given in the video description below. This software is also available for Mac users. 
So just go ahead download and install the software. After installing it, just open it up. Next, click on system repair. This software gives you two options to fix your iPhone's problem. The first option is standard mode. If you try to fix your iPhone's problem using this option, then it will not erase your iPhone data. And if you try to fix your iPhone's problem using advanced mode, then it will erase everything from your iPhone. So obviously I do not want to lose my iPhone data. So I am going to select the first option. The next thing you have to do is to get your iPhone into recovery mode. This software gives instructions for every model of iPhone. So in my case, my iPhone is iPhone X, so I have to follow these instructions to put my iPhone into recovery mode. In your case, situation might be different. All you have to do is get your iPhone into recovery mode by following the instructions given by the software. Now, let me quickly put my iPhone into recovery mode. After putting your phone into recovery mode, the next thing you have to do is to download latest version of iOS for your device. As you can see, the software is suggesting me to download iOS version 15.5. In your case, it will be different. And there are two ways to download the firmware. The first option is downloading the firmware through the software. If you click on start button, it will start downloading the firmware. And second option is downloading the firmware through a web browser. If you want to download the firmware through browser, just click on this download button. And it will start downloading the firmware automatically. So I already have the firmware, so I'm going to select it by clicking on this select option. After that, click on fix now. And then the repairing process will begin. During this process, do not disconnect your iPhone. Just let the software do its job. Once the repairing process is completed, if the software comes up with this message that says repairing of the operating system is complete, that means the software has successfully fixed your problem. Now let's see is my iPhone problem is fixed or not. Okay, let's open camera up. And yes, as you can see, my iPhone's front camera is fixed using the software. And also, the software was supposed to fix the problem without erasing my iPhone data. So as you can see, all my apps are there. And also, I should have all my photos there. As you can see, all my photos are there. None of them were deleted. Okay, before I show you the next method, there is something that you should know about the software that I used in this method. The software I used is not free, you have to purchase it. But, even after purchasing the software, you could have fixed your iPhone's problem then you don't have to worry. You can ask for a refund according to the company's policy. So now, let me show you the last method. Okay, our seventh and last method is contacting Apple. If you tried all the methods shown in the video and none of them work for you, then your iPhone might have a hardware issue and you have two options to fix it. Number one, take your iPhone to repairing shop. Number two, contacting Apple. I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your iPhone to a repairing shop because most of the repairing shop do is they replace original parts of your iPhone with the fake ones and obviously you wouldn't want that right? So that's why I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your iPhone to a repairing shop. And there is an easy way to contact Apple. Just go to Google and search Apple Live Chat and you can chat with them and get your problem solved instantly. So there you have it guys, that is how you can fix iPhone's front camera not working problem using these 7 methods. I hope this video was helpful to you, if it was, then please give it a thumbs up and also share the video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one, stay blessed, stay safe, peace.